So I recently started playing Terraria, late to the party, I know. It was gifted to me nearly two years ago, but I essentially dismissed it as too Minecrafty. Don't crucify me just yet though, like I said, I recently began giving it another go, and let me say, I'm hooked. I started a standard world with a more experienced friend who also happens to be the dude who gifted me the game. Thanks, El Grog. Anyway, we devoured the game quickly. The depth the game had, the weapon options, the challenges we had to overcome, it was all incredible. We beat the Moon Lord within a few days and had a fantastic time. But I needed more. The next logical step was an expert or master mode run, of course, but that just didn't feel like enough. I wanted this next playthrough to be special. So I found a way to make it special. Now, Terraria worlds are generated using seeds. These are random strings of numbers and letters that are made upon the world's creation if you don't enter anything into the seed box. However, there are three different things that you can input as your seed that will alter very specific things about your world. These are called Drunk World, Not the Bees, and For the Worthy. They're all definitely worth looking at, and I'll put a link to the wiki with them down below, but the one we'll be focusing on for right now is For the Worthy. This seed makes the world insanely more difficult, while also making a few minor adjustments that are good for the player. The changes are, the world generation screen messages are spelled backwards. Only cosmetic, but it is a little bit weird to look at when you start up the world. <laughs> um, all enemy damage and defense are increased to the point where many hard mode enemies and bosses are capable of one hit KOs even on end game characters. Blocks only take half as many hits with a pickaxe to break, rounded up. The demolitionist replaces the guide upon entering the world for the first time. Some water pools throughout the world are replaced with lava. Uh, this happens regardless of elevation as well. Pots may drop lit bombs that shortly explode instead of the collectible bomb items. And trees will also drop lit bombs, but only when they're shaken instead of actually cut down. Demonite or Crimtane and Gold or Platinum Ore generate more commonly as well as having larger vein sizes. Spider nests, granite caves, marble caves, and glowing mushroom biomes are much more common. Floating islands are always infected with the world's evil with matching water fountains. Skyware chests are replaced with gold locked chests, but they still have the same loot. The dungeon is painted vibrant colors and filled with many more spike traps. Additionally, a surface building of the dungeon is inverted, faces towards the ocean instead of towards the spawn. The jungle temple is painted green and is much larger. All chests have a chance to contain a single dirt block instead of the first item in the chest, meaning you lose what's often most important item in the chests, usually the accessory. Red potions can generate in chests. When consumed, they apply three random 30 minute buffs instead of applying many debuffs like in other worlds. Bunnies are replaced with explosive bunnies. All chests have a chance to contain more secondary items than the maximum amount in normal worlds like more recall potions and other consumables. The ash block ground is speckled with one block sized pockets of lava. Digging up ash blocks will sometimes trigger other nearby ash blocks to fall, similar to silt. All ruined houses are made out of hellstone bricks. All demons are replaced with voodoo demons. And then there are a variety of buffs added to just about every boss, but I'll just let you guys look at those and I'll put them on the screen real quick so you can get a quick peek, but I didn't want to list them all because it gets a bit tedious and a lot of it won't apply until much, much, much later, because this run is going to take forever, especially for me. In addition to the changes, I'll also be playing on Expert, since I've already essentially completed the game on Normal. This will let me get the Expert exclusive loot while still not being as punishing as a full-on Master Mode plus For the Worthy combo. I still expect to die a lot. The initial idea here was to just make one long video covering my journey through this with, you know, everything encompassed from, you know, day one to killing the Moon Lord, but I realized, one, that's going to take forever, and two, it's going to take a ton of hard drive space if I try to do that. So instead, I'm going to be doing installments, and I'll be playing it on my Twitch channel, which is twitch.tv forward slash if you wanted to tune into that, 
but for this first video, I'm going to show you the, just the first day of my buddy uh, Elgrog and I, you know, sort of laying the land, getting our first few things done. And that will be shortly followed by a stream highlight video of the second day. And then I will follow suit with any other significant changes um, with, you know, highlight updates and, you know, even full chunks of VOD if they're interesting enough. Anyway, without further ado, here is. <laughs> our first day in For the Worthy expert mode. I hope you enjoy. Quick Wanda sparking. I was considering going a magic build and like. I guess now you're considering. Oh, game. those are live bombs. <laughs> I thought they were just torches that dropped, and I was just like, oh, gotta go back, pick those up. Oh, whoa! Elgrog never die was chopped up by Elgrog never dies Bob. Ooh, recall potion. <laughs> <laughs> Oh no! Oh, okay, I made it. I made a really risky jump. <laughs> oh, bomb! <laughs> <laughs> I feel like that's gonna happen a lot. Yeah. Well, look at you cutting down these like. Oh, hello, bunny. Oh, bro, you want to Wanda sparking? Oh, yes, please. Oh, I am sorry, bro. Thanks for the wand. <laughs> Steals my silver, too. I can't. I can't. Look, silver coin, I can't pick it up. Oh. Bro. shot me. <laughs> It's not surviving at all if you're dead. Well, I stopped doing it.
Get me away from that bump. Oh, Jesus. Oh, yeah. Boots, 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 boots. Me too. <laughs>
Oh, got one. Oh. Easy. <coughs> Thanks, bro. sort of arena prepared for such an occasion. This tree will have to do. Oh, it's Cthulhu. Oh! Okay. Uh. Why are there zombies here, too? This is rough. We okay. failed the first test. Yup. Farm the jungle. For oh, oh no. Sorry, I have a diamond staff now. Oh no, he predicted. We need a nurse. Oh, 30 seconds. Is spawn times oh. also reduced or extended? I, I, didn't I see that. maybe, yeah, yeah, maybe just for expert, even not even a world thing. Yeah. Bro, we made a mistake. <laughs> Bro, we can do this. I wanted the game to be more challenging, bro. Yeah, well, that's challenging. Mentally challenged. <laughs> 